Hi guys, so on the way this here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one today then, back again with more Swans news and back again for more depressing transfer news. And this time, Swan City Loney, Ethan Led has been recalled by his parent club, Manchester United. And what have they done? They've loaned him out to another championship club, which is AFC Bournemouth. Of course, my initial reaction to this is just severely disappointment. You know, I'm really disappointed by Man United's decision here. Ethan Led knew how to play the Russell Martin, was playing consistent game time, was really playing well, fan favourite, and you know everything was going well for Ethan Led. I don't think he'd probably want to leave in an ideal world, but it's probably not his decision. Man United, you know, massive club at the end of the day, probably get to decide. And you know, unfortunately for us and Ethan Led, we're no longer together. He's going to join AFC Bournemouth then, who of course are challenging for the promotion this season, challenging to win the league with Fulham and West Brom and Blackburn teams like that, but yeah, is he guaranteed game time at Bournemouth? I don't think he is guaranteed game time at Bournemouth, you know, Bournemouth have got some very decent players, some decent fullbacks, especially they've got Jack Stacey who's a very good fullback at Bournemouth they've got some good experienced players as well, but I don't think he's guaranteed, you know, minutes we've seen Jamal Lowe go to Bournemouth he wasn't guaranteed minutes, he struggled to get into the first team, you know, he's not guaranteed minutes, and you know, from my point of view, I think it's a poor decision from Manchester United at the end of the day, Ethan Lade's only 20 years old. He's probably going to go out on loan next year in the year after that. So I don't see why they've cut his loan spell short here when they probably could loan him to another promotion side next year in the Championship. But it's a shame. It is a shame, really. And we all know Manchester City are the biggest club in Manchester. Oh, I'm just saying that to wind Man United fans up, really, but I don't really care. But Ethan Lade then made 21 appearances all competitions for Southern City this season, getting four assists. You know, I think he had a very similar stat at MK Dons last year. I think it was 24 appearances and four assists. So he's basically matched that from last season. You know, he's a very good attacking wing back. Okay, defensively, he probably does need improving. But like I said, for a 20 year old fullback in the Championship, I thought he's done phenomenal this season. You know, wasn't afraid to take his man on. His pace was scary. How he hasn't won a penalty for Swansea this season, I'll never know. He always got fouled in the box. You know, I could say some games which now we should have had a penalty. Cardiff at home, he got took out by Curtis Nelson. Coventry away, probably would have been a penalty, but Joel Pro scored anyway, so that really didn't matter. There's so many other circumstances where we should have had a penalty, especially from Ethan Led getting fouled in the referee dinger. So no one our luck because Ethan Led's gone now. The penalties will probably start rolling in, but it is a big mess because Ethan Led is our only proper right wing back in my opinion. Joel Atabodia, I don't think he's an attacking fullback. I'm not even sure if he's a fullback at all to be honest. And you know there's rumours that Joel Atabodia might be looking for a loan move away. I don't think that will happen now. So you know Atabodia will have a lack of game time again because we probably will bring someone in. Who do we bring in though? Will it be a loan player? Will it be a transfer? I don't know, but we do need someone in quickly. I like Joel Atabodia. You know, hopefully he gets a chance to you know really prove himself now. But I don't think he's going to be a long term solution for the rest of the season for him to combat that Ethan Led role. For me, he's a decent fullback. Joel Atabodia defensively pretty solid, but just going forward, that's where I think he his struggles and same with Ryan Manning and Jake Bidwell recently. You know, if we do play this three or five back system, which Russell Martin loves to play, you know we're We've got two defensive fullbacks. That's our problem. When we had Connor Roberts, who was an attacking fullback, and we had Bidwell, who was a defensive fullback, so it was good, you know, structure there. But now it looks like if we've got Ryan Manning or Bidwell or Joel Atabodia in the wing back roles, for me, they're both defensive first fullbacks. So it's going to be an oh, interesting one. Of course, we don't have a league game until the 15th of January, so we've got some time to, you know, negotiate some deals hopefully but it's a big blow you know Ethan Led fan favourite one of my favourite players start the season off brilliantly hasn't really been on form the last couple of weeks where Swan City did play and you know, it's just a shame really that we've not been able to say goodbye no one expected him to leave so early on and you know, we can't really complain at the end of the day. A similar thing happened with Charlton Athletic a few years back when, you know, Chelsea recalled Conor Gallagher from Charlton and sent him to us because we were going for promotion and, you know, none of us were complaining. We did the same with Brandon Cooper last year at Newport. He hardly played for us then. Of course, we had to record from injuries. But, you know, you don't really like to see your players getting recalled just to join another club or getting recalled in parent club and not playing. It's, it's a shame, really. Same happened with Morgan Gibbs White last year when he went back to Wolves, hardly played and... This is the thing with lone players, you know, you know what you're going to get with a lone player. You'll either fall in love with him, Freddie Woodman, and they won't return again, or they'll do really well and they'll get recalled. You know, you just can't win with lone players, and this is the danger, and, you know, this is kind of glad, one maybe reason why I'm glad Steve Cooper's not here anymore, is just that we heavily relied on lone players, and, you know, we just repeat recycle every single year, Mark Way, for example, but for at least Russell Mann is trying to get, you know, a lot more first team players in, a lot more 
players on here on a permanent basis. But yeah, let me know down below, guys, what you think of this news for me. One out of ten. It's no disrespect to Ethan Laird at all. I'm just really gutted he's gone, to be honest, because he was such an important figure in this team, and we will heavily miss him. And hopefully, you know, we can get our players from. But yeah, Man United fans, you know, he's done terrifically at Swansea this season. Bournemouth, hopefully, you use him right, and you know, hopefully, you can get your promoted at the end of the season, and we'll see you back in the championship in two seasons' time with Fulham, probably, and Norwich. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do hit like button, comment, subscribe. Ethan Led has been recalled by Manchester United and joined AFC Bournemouth. Hard, hard luck for the Swans.